Here in this lecture, we're gonna talk about basic stance and body movement for tomahawk fighting. Now, there's no real fixed stance when it comes to combat. Combat is a fluid, dynamic experience. You can't really do the classic martial arts stances that tend to lock you into one spot. So the system that was developed for special forces fighters in particular, which is very transferable across to anyone else who is training for combat, is what they do the most of, which is a shooting stance. So this is a modified shooting position, and that's its dominant aspect. It's that way because predominantly in my career, I've had to train gunfighters, not unarmed combat exponents or tomahawk fighters. So we built on what they did most, where the muscle memory was strongest, so we had good habits to build upon. The platform we're working on with this type of movement system ensures that the body can be moved and almost support the upper body. So the legs, sorry, are moving while the upper body is being supported by the legs underneath, as opposed to what you'd see classically as overextension, where someone's reaching out for something. Well, that's a bit of a no-no in this type of combative envir environment. We want the body to always be supported by the lower body. Most of our strength is in these legs and the core. So if I don't engage them fully in every technique I apply, I'm shortcutting the entire efficiency of the process. So a shooter does the same thing. So if we look quickly at a shooting position, a basic starting position is what we call a neutral stance. So the, the shooter might have his handgun here, or with a firearm in a ready position like so. As they're moving to engage target, they're raising the body or pushing the weapon out to break the line of sight. Okay, but their body stays essentially the same. Now, in an isosceles stance like this, it doesn't lend itself to forward movement or any other movement for that, that matter. It's a static shooting position in the main. So over the course of many, many years and many, many iterations of training, we learnt to move the dominant leg rearward or the non-dominant leg forward. You put that together as, as it suits you, but not too far, just half a step. And that then put, it, put my body into a platform that allowed me to move with the legs supporting the upper body. So I don't lean forward, I roll my chest forward, so I suck my chest back, roll my shoulders forward, to provide the, the armoring of my body with the muscle, muscles of my back. And this helps me absorb recoil from my firearms. Translate that across to any other weapon system and we have the same benefits. I'm tucking my head down and my shoulders in. So I've got less target area here. I'm more like a turtle as I'm hitting. Boom, boom, boom. But my body is supported from here up by my legs. So if my legs are moving, they're moving underneath my body at all times, okay? And that's pretty well it. Exactly as we would do if we were shooting and moving at the same time, I need to be able to move, move my weapon around to engage various targets and stay situationally aware and on balance. So being on balance is the core aim of what we're trying to achieve. And it's the most important aim. If you are off balance, you're not going to fare well. So you need to keep your balance secure. You need to be mobile, you need to be agile. Most of the time it's the forefoot that is touching the ground. Forefoot to heel or a flat foot stance. Very rarely do we land with our heel because it puts too much body weight forward, it locks the knee rearwards. So you want to be light stepping, doing a cha-cha as one of my teachers would say. So we cha-cha in, cha-cha out. So I'm changing legs to suit the ground, the terrain, the movement and the angles I need to achieve, as opposed to having any kind of fixed position. Left fighting stance, adopted. Doesn't work, it's too static. Combat is fluid, mobile and dynamic. It's on uneven ground. You'll notice here that the training area we're using is not flat, it's not cleared. There are sticks, debris, holes, that's deliberate. You need to be able to absorb that and feel what is going on beneath your feet. We don't go backwards very much because that is too easy a situation for me to fall backwards, lose balance. Yielding is different to retreating. So I can yield 
one step as we did in, a, in the basic movements that you've already seen, but I'm not running backwards. That's called a route. Okay, I've been chased backwards. I'm now at the mercy of my opponent, but I can yield to create gap for me to re-engage with my weapon system or to pull my weapon system out into a position where it is more usable. But I don't retreat, if that makes clear sense. So that's really it. It's a gunfighter system modified for everything else, be it unarmed combat or a tomahawk fighting system. So that's its basis of design and that's how it works. Well, straightforward, center, withdraw one, center, left diagonal, center, right diagonal, center, left, rearward, center, right, rearward, center, left avoid, center, right avoid, center, 